Look at this crazy new character. What is this? This is technology too. So this is unbidden but tainted version. I know it seems like a lot to take in right- That is awesome. I know it seems like a lot to take in right now, but you just gotta follow with me. It's gonna make sense, alright? It seems a little weird, but just trust me. So, the way this character works is I have zero HP, but... I actually have infinite HP. You can see here, we can swap, attack, rewind with a percentage chance. We have wisps and absorb. So you saw earlier, we found tech 2, the treasure room, right? Maybe a small rock? No, okay. And it turned into a wisp and then it was just working. What I did afterwards is use threshold and basically I gulped the wisps to make sure that it is permanent. So the idea basically being that you pick up items and you have to decide if you want to gulp them or not based on how many thresholds you have. On top of that, again, like I said earlier, we actually have infinite HP. I cannot die, but the way I'm assuming it works is you saw my percentage chance went down right there when I exited the curse room. I have a percent chance to glowing hourglass on hit, uh, and the more I get hit, the lower chance the glowing hourglass will work. So, you know, if I get hit like three times on a floor and I have a 33% chance to respawn, you know, I, I might just not. So it's a very unique character, the most unique character we've played on the channel so far. And I wanted to try them out because I saw the homie bd one uh, He played uh, Tainted Unbidden a, a while back, and I, that guy's a homie, so I wanted to see what this character's all about. Perfect. Dingle's gone, synth oil, so I can just take that. As you can see, it turns into a wisp. It is doing what it has to do. In fact, it affected the range, so my range is actually bigger. And I'm just gonna gulp it, and now it's permanent. And now I just have it. So if I, too, uh, if I find too many items all at once and I don't have a threshold, I might not be able to gulp everything. I have a 99.5% chance. There's no way this doesn't work. Ooh, the pad. Right? Like, I, I, I'm I, probably gonna respawn here. Okay. And it seems to go down every single time you take damage. Okay, it's a pretty simple character, actually. It doesn't seem too confusing. It's just a little weird in the beginning, but now it's making sense, so I like it. Teleport is, uh, unironically, probably the worst active item in the game, uh, and that is Guillotine, which, okay, cool, that was... What? That didn't disappear? Okay? What? Huh? Okay, hold on, now I'm confused. Oh... Okay, now I don't know what's going on. It seems like I have school bag, in a way. I somehow gulped the teleport, or I have the teleport as a wisp. So maybe you can just have active items as wisps too, and you can gulp those, interesting. I don't even know how that would work, but very unique. Seems uh, taking damage does not affect deal chance, so that's good as well. Keep that in mind. Should I split the wormwood? I'm gonna split the wormwood, I don't care. Splitting the wormwood, oh, that's not a thing, what am I doing? I know that. <laughs> the only boss you can split is Delirium. I don't know why I thought I could split Wormwood. Now obviously the way that I attack is just like a, an area of effect pulse around me. But it does seem to have synergies, unique synergies. Like how we found Tech 2 and it just added a laser on top of it. So it seems really cool. Sure, I'm the lost so I should go to the double rooms, right? Uh, what? Oh, they don't delete? I just keep? Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> Cool, alright. Uh, I was expecting those to delete because I'm a lost character, but I guess this lost character has a couple bits of extra secrets. I would say absolutely just go to the devil rooms then with this character. Why would you not? I'll go to this shop as well. I think the main thing you want for this character is battery items. Let's see if we can get one. Can't see it. That sucks. There was a coupon. Oh, no, no, no. That's good. We'll take that. What is that? That, that must be new. Spawn a new trinket on pickup. 40% chance to smelt current trinket. 40% chance to spit out smelted trinket. 10% chance to re-roll your current trinket. 10% chance to destroy your current trinket. That doesn't sound good. That sounds awful. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here. So I don't know if there's a way for me to decide what item I want to threshold. Oh, wait, what? Look at that. I do have multiple active items. I really have school bag. Cool. I, I don't think there's a way for me to decide when I want a threshold. I think it's maybe just based on the order that you picked up everything. So we do have to be careful here. We gotta spam it. And also, I just saw that I have a 50% chance to respawn. What is that? That looked awesome. Also, it hurts my eyes. Oh my god, that's awful. No, it's terrible. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> I hope it doesn't actually hurt anyone's eyes. Oh, the, I'm taking Mark. Oh my god, I respawned. It's okay. That's... that's not what I expected. 
Can I take all of this? I have the D8 now? Okay, cool. Uh, so never take Maw of the Void with this character. Uh, I don't think it visually works very well. I'm gonna be real. I don't think it works too well. It's not that distracting for me. I hope it isn't as distracting for you guys. It is interesting because I am getting items. It's just that you gotta remember these items really aren't permanent. I could lose them at any point. But as long as I'm careful with my wisps, which I have a lot of tainted Bethany knowledge, I should be okay. Uh, they're basically just a really strong character that can't die. They're definitely a challenge character though. Perfection for free. Uh, we got a Tears Up, which I'm assuming just makes me pulse faster. Yes. In fact, I got such a fat range down from that. What? I'd rather just, uh, D8 myself again. And I'm not sure how to make the percentage go up. Maybe just clearing rooms without taking damage makes it so your percent chance to respawn goes up. I'm assuming that's how it works, otherwise... I might be dying soon. A 50% chance to respawn is basically just Guppy's collar, and I don't know how I feel about that. Very unique and fun character. That That is something I'll say. This character is fun to play. I'm having a grand time. Very unique. I must admit, I do want some balls. So thank you. Yoink, yoink. So I suppose you should really try going alternate floors, because they have a unique mechanic where you can choose both items. You don't just lose out on one item. Uh, if there's a choice between two or more, you could just take everything. So maxing out on that is probably the best way to play. Stuff like boss rush and uh, things like that were probably very important for this character. We're gonna take care of Peep here. Should be easy with Maw the Void. Maw is not gulped yet. I'm hoping that it will be because that's a really good wisp and I don't want to lose out on that. Goodbye, Peep. And hello! Uh, a range up. Uh, I don't have rerolls, so I guess I'll just take it, whatever. I realize now my D8 has not been charging, so I assume I have to actually be locked into the D8 for it to charge. I was hanging on the meat cleaver for a bit, and uh, it was not getting the charge it deserved. Uh, wow, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll run that. <laughs> Holy mother of god, my speed is abysmal. Oh my god, I am the AoE lord. Nothing can hurt me. I cover the entire area. 13 damage pulses. Oh, don't lose my wisps. An instant tra- oh, Okay. Well, I didn't die. This is terrifying. Okay, having high range could be really bad, I think. I didn't die. I Again, I'm assuming that the glowing hourglass percentage is the chance for me to die. <laughs> I'm not de-aiding anymore, by the way. There's just no way I'm doing that. So either I'm insanely lucky, or it doesn't work the way I think it does. Uh, I don't know if I want to risk the curse. <laughs> Again, assuming this is how the character works, I don't think that's a worthwhile risk. Instead, I'm just gonna roam around with my AoE. Honestly, this kind of AoE damage plus meat cleaver is a really good synergy. Since all I really need is things to be low HP and they kind of just die in one pulse. Yeah, see? So we got kind of- we got something going here. Uh oh. Look at that, look how far! Boom. I'm so far away. <laughs> My damage is crazy. And I love how they've actually like synergized basically everything I've come across. It seems like this is a really fleshed out character. Most things I've come across have really synergized, like the range ups, the tech too, the ma, the void. It's all textured too. I have so much money, what the heck? Okay, here. Let's let's spend a little bit, because I actually have to. Uh, we have a threshold ready, we get Lusty Blood, and then we get Bomb Bag locked in, that's cool. I feel like I'm forgetting to use Threshold, that's a, that's a me issue. I just gotta remember to use that. One pulse is enough to kill a host, that's crazy, look at this. Boom. That's power right there. Oh my lord. We now have access to pause for whatever reason I would want to do that. This character is so nuts! Goodbye the husk. I don't even have to come close to you, my range is nasty. Booster pack, I guess would only work if I threshold it, never mind. And Lazarus's rags. I guess I'll take it, might as well, but I'm, I'm just not interested because I am trying to have fun with this character. Mausoleum scares me the amount of times I will probably explode randomly to a brimstone. Actually, the AoE is so strong, I'm gonna try it. It scares me a little bit, but uh, I mean, I kinda, I got a, what is it, 55% chance to respawn? Found our shop really early, which is great. Mom's key, sure. Uh, box of friends. I don't really have any friends I want to do. That's crazy. I just saw that spike block destroyed. You know why? It's because I technically have euthanasia. Each one of these pulses has a chance to do euthanasia. That's insane. Also, 
I'm technically a lost character, so I have perfection with this hypothetical euthanasia. So this is insanely powerful. I really like this character. Some, I, I mean, something about it, it's just very unique. I've never played anything like it. Is this XL? When was the last time I had a mausoleum XL? Jeez, this place is huge. All right, be right back. I gotta find my treasure room. Maybe teleport? I thought there was supposed to be a, a mechanic where you hold a direction with teleport and you go there. I find it the most fun because it's I have so much knowledge of Isaac, so when I have to learn something new on the fly while trying to make it entertaining and I'm having a good time, it makes me happy. I'm gonna definitely do boss rush. I think it's very important for this character uh, because not only do you get to I need, I want to know, I want to know, I want to know what that does. I just simply want to know. It's as simple as that. I have to know. Oh my god. That looks cool. But I think this might have been a mistake. It's important that you do boss rush as this character because you get all four items and you can spam threshold. Sagittarius, okay. Uh, this is terrifying now. I might have messed up by doing this. I didn't lose perfection by getting hit. That's interesting. Uh, I probably shouldn't have taken Dr. Fetus. But I mean, you can't give me a new character with new synergies and shove Dr. Fetus in my face and not expect me to take it. Got it. Okay, alright. Not bad. Little terrifying, but not bad. This is now a Dr. Fetus run. All Dr. Fetus enjoyers rejoice. We'll take negative. And we'll- t oh my god. Alright, I mean, dude, <laughs> I mean... Oh, you can only take one! Interesting, okay, so boss rush is different. Boss rush is actually different. So, the question becomes, do I D100 myself? And I think the obvious answer is yeah, duh, of course I'm going to. But, I don't even know how that guy died. Uh, after I be boss rush, I'm gonna start d 100 ing Or, you know what? Pfft, whatever, I'm just doing do it now. What do I get? I'm still Dr. Fetus. Oh, you actually know what's going on? I know exactly. Oh, what? I I just got C-section. What is this synergy? There's so many pulses. I can't see. Not the items that are wisps, which would have made sense to me. Okay, well, you know what? We're just gonna go. Do I keep? I didn't keep my C-section. I have to do it again. Oh my god, I have to do it again. It, it counts as a glowing hourglass. I have to. All right, hold on. Boom. Then turn it into C-section. Grab it. Now I have to be boss rush without getting hit. Otherwise, I can't keep C-section. They also drop bombs. It's terrifying. It's this turn is so chaotic so fast. I don't know why they're staying as if I have anti-gravity. Do I have anti-gravity? It doesn't look like it. Oh my god. They're chucking bombs in my face. Please just don't lose. I, 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 I seriously, I don't know. I can't see what's going on. No! Again. <laughs> this is so hard. It's because the stupid C-sections are dropping bombs everywhere. I, 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 I'm either the luckiest person or th it's not working how I thought it used to work. I must be just getting lucky, right? Or it just, it must not work the way I think it does. Maybe, maybe there, maybe you really just can't die as this character. I don't know. Ar oh, I forgot that I'm supposed to be spamming uh, threshold. That's the whole reason I wanted to do this. It's not, nah, see they're chucking bombs back at me. I swear I'm not making it up. I'm Beelzebub. And Loki, we did it. Oh my god, I can't believe it. What? No, I'm not! <laughs> I will not. I won't. Simply won't. You know what? Whatever, I'm D100ing. Who even knows what I get? It's nothing. I literally got nothing. Whatever. As long as I got rid of the C-section. That's all I care about. Cool. Oh yeah, no, let's get it. It's a spirit, it's spirit sword now. This is now a spirit sword run. Ooh, I bet you weren't expecting that one. <laughs> Okay, spinning deals so much damage, it's really dumb. Trinity Shield. Yeah, sure. Should I fight Hush? I feel like I'm gonna die. I'm... I'm not going to. Only because... And I have this problem with Tainted Bethany. Uh, Hush and Mega Satan are hard fights for characters like Tainted Bethany. And in this case, Tainted Unbidden. Because a lot of their items are based off of Wisps. And they delete your Wisps. Excuse me? Is this gonna get deleted too? It really did. It just disappeared. We do have a, an emergency chariot, and it looks like our timer's doing okay. We are clearing rooms, and I think it's going up. I think maybe clearing rooms also makes the timer go up, because that's at 39.25 now. Now it's at 30. Why is it going up? Interesting. There must be some hidden mechanic. Uh, actually, I just used threshold, and it went down, so uh, Lord knows what's going on! I just got the- I didn't press anything. I swear to god, forget me now just showed up out of nowhere. I don't know how. It's just there now. 
Oh, I just- I've always had it. Never mind. Okay, no. I, I, this mod is making me go insane! <laughs> Every time I open a mod, I feel like I just get gaslit because my entire knowledge of Isaac is thrown out the window and I have to learn really quickly. Also, I don't know what the deal is with me holding down the spirit sword and just leaves a blade there, but it looks cool. Like, that looks cool. In fact, I'm gonna do something here. Let's leave a blade for these guys right here. <laughs> All right, that was cool. That was awesome. That was actually really cool. Leave one for Satan too? Oh, yeah, that was too early. Okay, Satan we're done for. We have a forget me now for the dark room, so we can get a lot of items. Let's just see what's going on. Hello, dark room. Oh my god. I mean, sure. Uh, I can take all of these, right? Just based on how he works. Yeah, I can. We are gonna get so many goddamn items. You don't even know. Looks like we're also running 4.5 volt, which is good for endgame. So I'm happy with that. IBS? Yeah, sure. I don't care. What just happened? What? I'm back finally! It's been so long and I am streaming right now. So many things came up. Daft Punk, Tears of the Kingdom, Mother's Day, but now I'm here. If you go to Twitch.tv, I will be there unlocking Third Dead God. See you there.